you ever gotten in trouble and been sent to your room? That's what happened to a boy named Max in the book, Where the Wild Things Are, written and illustrated by Maurice Sindak. Sindak received the Caldecott Medal for the illustrations in this book. As you can see on the cover, there's some pretty awesome drawings. Inside, there's pictures that help your imagination realize what's being talked about in the story. The Caldecott Medal is given to artists of children's book. The award is given annually by the Association for Library Service to Children. The award was first given out in 1938 to the illustrator Dorothy P. Lathrop for the book Animals of the Bible. Sindak received his medal for this book, Where the Wild Things Are, in 1964. This book was banned from many libraries. It took about two years for librarians to realize that children loved this book and wanted to check it out over and over again. Where the Wild Things Are is in the genre of fantasy. There are magical creatures that live in alternate worlds. This is a story about a boy named Max who dresses up in a wolf suit and gets into some mischief. His mom then sends him to the, his room. Max discovers another world filled with wild animals that roar their terrible roars, that gnash their terrible teeth, that roll their terrible eyes, and show their terrible claws. Max becomes king of the wild things, and he plays in their world for a while. Children and adults will want to read this book over and over again. Everyone can relate to getting into trouble and being sent to your room. The illustrations are what really make this book come alive. You'll love the illustrations that will help you imagine the wild things and their wild ways. Have you ever had to go to a new school or to make new friends? This is what happens to Ramona in the book Ramona Quimbley, age 8. This is the sixth book in the Ramona series by Beverly Cleary. Previous books were Beezus and Ramona, Ramona the Pest, Ramona the Brave, Ramona and Her Father, and Ramona and Her Mother. This book was named the Newbery Honor Book in 1982. Each year, an award is given to the book that encourages original creative work in the field of books for children. To emphasize to the public that contributions to the literature of children deserve similar recognition to poetry, plays, or novels. To give those librarians who make it their life work to serve children's reading interests an opportunity to encourage good writing in this field. A few other books are given the Newbery Honor. These awards were named after John Newbery and was the first children's book award in the world. Winners of the award must be citizens of the United States, and the book must be written and published in English. The book Ramona Quimbley, age 8, was deserving of this award because it describes the concerns and happenings of most school-aged children in a clear and sensitive manner. The events described can seem small to an adult, but are very real to children. In the schools in Ramona's neighborhood have been reorganized. She is going to be in the third grade this year, and that is the highest grade at the school. Ramona is excited about being one of the biggest kids at school. That is, until a boy called the Yard Ape takes her pink eraser on the bus. Ramona ends up making the Yard Ape her friend. As in all Ramona books, Ramona Quimbley finds trouble at school, or trouble finds her. There's an incident where her mom packs a hard-boiled egg in Ramona's lunch. Ramona decides to crack the egg on her head, only to find out that her mom did not cook the egg. Then there is the incident where she throws up in class. Ramona also has to deal with things happening at home. Her father has quit his job to go back to school, so her mom has gone to work, and their family is having some financial troubles. This book is in the genre of realistic fiction. It is a story that can actually happen and is true to life. The characters seem like real people with real issues. If you enjoy reading about the crazy things that can happen at school and at home to children and enjoy reading the other Ramona books, you will love this book too.